United Wave 2 is finally out after all of the leaks and botch reveals. This wave is amazing. Each figure I have messed with so far has been up to or better than Wave 1 standards, but one figure has made people question whether it is worth the RRP, and that is who we will be taking a look at today. Hello and welcome to Jinx, where today we will be taking a look at Legacy United Sandstorm. Let's start off with how he feels. Even though he is Voyager size, he is as hefty as a modern day leader. Vorsatron Scourge doesn't feel like as good as Sandstorm, and people agree that he was worth the price. Sandstorm feels as good as Skyquake in Kingdom Megatron. Now, how does he look? Just like the G1 toy, which isn't something that I'd usually look for, but considering how odd his Toon face looked, I'm happy to get this more drone-like face. Give this head more volume and it will work well for a pyro, or give it more insect features and it will work well for blackout. His accessories are definitely one of this figure's highlights. He comes with two guns, but the most interesting is his cage. His cage comes with, an, comes with a working string winch, something that you don't see on Transformers anymore. Whilst I don't look for play features in my figures, this was a welcome inclusion. His articulation is pretty good. Well, there are two issues with this figure, obviously the main one most people already know about, but we'll come to that. So, um, he does have head articulation, it's on a ball joint, but obviously due to all that mess around there, you can't really do much with it. Um, he does have universals at the um, shoulders, uh, bicep, swivel, double jointed elbow just to transformation. He does have butterflies but that's huge transformation as well and that's yes you've said the issue it doesn't happen much to me anyway so it's not really an issue like i can move these around and nothing will come undone it's mainly just like when you pull things apart um like the you know you do the but um the butterflies and it comes undone he does have very tight wrist swivels and I'm not glad this plastic feels great on his arms. I don't know what they use, but it feels amazing. He does have a waist, but it is very limited. Um, and if say you go like that and you move the leg due to the shape, it does fall back into place. But you just have universals on the hips. Um, he also has a thigh swivel, knee bend, which look like it should bend more due to the shape. Um, but no, it doesn't do. Um, he does have a great ankle tilt and a little bit to the other side as well, which is obviously one of my favourite points articulation. If you know me and you know the channel well, he does have foot pivot um, and heel. So that's mainly due to the transformation. So overall, it is, you know, a pretty good uh, poser. His transformation is satisfying and clunky. It feels like something from the early 2000s due to the sliders in his legs. You can't see now that it's covered up. Um, which would normally scare me, but these sliders are tough. And in the end, we're left with this battering ram of a dune buggy. This feels like something you'd see in the Egypt battle of Revenge of the Fallen. His PVC tyres help it to roll incredibly well. Whilst the back is mainly helicopter bit. If you didn't know he triple changed, you just think that they were tail lights. This may be the most compromised mode, but it's still incredibly fun to mess with and feels like an absolute weapon. I mean, you can just tell. Look at this, it's an absolute weapon. Oh, I, I, I know it's compromised, but I really like this whole mode. His final transformation is just as great as the first. It's basically just the backpack doing all the work, which isn't a bad thing as I love TFA Redgar for doing the same thing. And once done, you're left with the best helicopter since SS Blackout and Grindor. This brings me back to when I had the LEGO City Fire helicopter and that makes me smile. Even with how good the standard helicopter is, there is one thing you can do to enhance the experience. The winch. Attach it to the port below the cockpit and you now have... A rescue helicopter. 
This was genius on Mark's part and another thing that makes this one of the standouts from Wave 2. Overall, I do believe he is worth the leader price. More so than Blitzwing and I loved that figure. His transformations seem complicated at first, but they're really fun to flip back and forth, especially for a triple changer. I can understand why you'd not pay the full price for him, especially since Smith will probably have him on sale in a few weeks anyway. But I don't let him rot on the shelves, give this boy a home and care for him. I have been jinxed and this has been my look at Transformers Legacy United Leader Class Sandstorm. Don't forget to check my book out, the link will be in the description. I will see you when we next take a look at another character from the franchise we all love.